when you're stressed and anxious about something, like what's the worst case scenario that could happen here? And is that worst case scenario as bad as some of the other stuff that's going on out there? Because what you can do is you can sort of like flip that anxiety from anxiousness to gratitude. Hey, good morning, how are ya? It's the morning walk and today we're at Silent Grove on the Gibb River Road in Western Australia. Funnily enough, this has been one of the things we have been most excited about doing for the entire trip. It's a real iconic Australian drive, all through pristine wilderness, incredible place to come and visit. And we've had so many dramas in the last three or four days, I can't even start to tell ya. So, lots and lots and lots of obstacles. I'm going to tell you about all of those and hopefully, hopefully we're going to get through this. Well, let's go and have a walk and have a chat because it's a beautiful day. We're at a campground, the first campground on the Gibb River Road, which is called Winjana when you're going from west to east. Unfortunately, I was like looking at the wheel of our car and I could see grease kind of coming out through the kind of star pattern on the, on the hubcap. It's like, oh, that doesn't look right. Got underneath and of course there's grease absolutely everywhere. Long story short, obviously we weren't going to drive that along 700 kilometres of rough corrugated dirt road and so we decided to drive 100 kilometers back to derby to get it fixed but the problem is, is when you get into derby which in itself is a pretty small town everything's closed on a saturday and sunday and so we had to wait till monday and then because it's such a small place and there's so much demand the mechanics are all booked out weeks in advance so this is like getting really kind of crappy we're like oh this whole part of our trip is going to get get wrecked and they didn't have the part oh my god they didn't have the part either but then something cool happened my wife said oh those people that we met Brenda and Greg they're driving up from Broome today to Derby because originally we weren't going to see them again but we had a great chat and my wife remembered that they were coming up gave them a call down in Broome and they were able to collect the part that we needed and drive it up to Derby on Monday morning then we started this little problem that we needed to get the part put on and we had these awesome guys at 4x4 and Marine in Derby. Awesome fellas who said that they were going to squeeze us in on Tuesday. And I brought the car in first thing and I brought a case of beer with me and I put it on the counter and I said like, really appreciate you guys saying you'd put us on the, on the rack first thing this morning so that we could get away today. And the guy looks down at his appointment book and it's, you know, like full, 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 full. And he said, oh, did I tell you that? And I was like, yep, you did. <laughs> and he's like, oh, you did. Well, we really appreciate the beers. And so they ended up putting our car on to get fixed up. And we had it back by 9am on Tuesday morning, which is an utter miracle. Anyway, back on track, out to uh, Silent Grove. So we missed one of our stops on the Gib, unfortunately. But, you know, this is travel. Sometimes you need to be flexible and adapt. And just as we're driving in to this campground, we hear this bang, um, pull into the campground and essentially like the connector between the caravan and the car, there's like an electrical cable connector that's designed to power the caravan and the lights and the brakes. And that had just been ripped off and smashed. I'm like, oh God, here we go again. So we're kind of lucky on that front because just 25 k's up the road, there's a little roadhouse and with some luck, they'll have that part. And if not, worst case scenario, about another 50 k's up the, the main road, we will find there's, there's a mechanic there who will definitely have that part. But then during the night, we hear our, um, our fridge like making funny sounds. And we've had this problem before on the trip. It was because the batteries have run down. And I did have the batteries checked in Derby by um, a mechanic who came out to have a look at it. And now, now they're not probably working either because the fridge isn't running properly. And we've got three weeks of food, like a thousand dollars worth of food in, in the fridge. So it's just like one obstacle after another. But you know, sometimes things happen and later on, the reason that you're happy that it happened becomes apparent. When we were in Derby, this mechanic's like at our caravan, just checking, checking the batteries for us. And he looks at our rear tire on, on the caravan and he says, your batteries aren't the problem. It's your, it's your wheel back here, it's a problem. And long story short, 
the guys down in Perth who serviced our caravan before we drove out here hadn't tightened one of the lock nuts on the hubs tightly enough. And as a result, the wheel was moving a little bit and that whole wheel was basically good to, to come off and roll away out here in the middle of nowhere. And if that had happened, then, you know, that's like, you can't drive anywhere, you're stuffed kind of territory. So to be honest, like we got kind of lucky in that sense, we had that problem fixed up. We fixed the CV joint on the Land Cruiser. And now we just need to get through this next little bit of headache. In the middle of the night, I was sort of stressing about all of this and wondering about how it was going to unfold. And my wife, like, put her hand on my shoulder and just said, hey, look, just relax. You know, like, we've got, a, got our health. We're in good health. We're not locked down in some city. We're going to be able to figure this out. What's the worst case scenario? We have to, you know, do a bit of driving. Some of our plans get changed. It costs a bit of money to get this stuff fixed. But, you know, we'll, we'll manage it. So we'll be all right. I think that's really wise. Like if you stop and ask yourself when you're stressed and anxious about something, like what's the worst case scenario that could happen here? And is that worst case scenario as bad as some of the other stuff that's going on out there? Because what you can do is you can sort of like flip that anxiety from anxiousness to gratitude and you can feel good about what's going on, even though it's maybe a little bit of a challenge to you. So to be honest, like right now, having just had a chat with you and being able to explain what's going on, like I'm feeling super grateful that these problems we have are all kind of minor problems and relatively inconsequential. We can fix them. It might interrupt our plans by a week or something like that, but you know, who cares? We're, we're super lucky to be out here and I'm grateful.